This is part two of the 20 essential questions that you want to ask yourself before creating a new coaching program. My name is Milana Lashinsky, and I've been doing group coaching programs for over two decades. I learned a lot about what clients want, how they get results, and exactly what you need to create a successful group coaching business. I also created Coaching Genie, which is an all-in-one coaching platform, a coaching program delivery platform. And if you want to learn more about it, go to coachinggenie.com. So this is part two. And if you missed the first part, it's in the link below the video. I'm going to go ahead and start with question number 11. What will be the biggest promise of your program? You want to be very specific and you want to be very aware of what it is that you are promising to your clients that they will be able to achieve or what they will be able to solve, what will be able to accomplish, right? Because they are also asking the same question before making the purchase. Question number 12, how much do you want to charge for it? Do you know what that amount um, looks like to you right now because there's a huge difference between a program that you sell for $297 and a $5,000 coaching program. So that answering this question really will allow you to understand and clarify the scope of your program, the depth, the detail, the length of the program, and so many other things, right? So what is the price point? How much do you want to charge for it? Number 13, what must your target customers believe before they are ready to invest in your coaching program? What must they believe before they are ready to invest? So answering this question will allow you to understand the beliefs that you want to encourage and highlight. It's a certain mind shift that will have to happen for your clients, for your potential clients, before they will say, oh, I need this coaching program. So what must they believe before they are ready to invest in your coaching program? Okay, so I have a program on how to do virtual summits. And before anybody will buy that program from me, they need to believe that virtual summits is a great strategy for their business, right? So I need to clarify and explain and motivate and encourage people about virtual summits so that they will see the value in my program. So what must your clients believe before they're ready to invest in your program? Question number 14, who do you know that is already reaching this target audience? Who do you know that is already talking to your ideal clients, selling to them, in communication with them on a regular basis? Because if you can't answer that question, there is a chance that it's going to be very difficult to market because you won't know where to go to actually introduce or talk your program up. Question number 15, is this program going to be relevant in three years? I remember I created a, a little coaching program many years ago, and by the time I created it, um, the topic was obsolete. And the reason for that is because it was based around technology. Technology goes out and the new technology comes in, constant turnover. So are you creating something that will last? And especially a coaching program, you don't want to create something that will become obsolete in a couple of years. Question number 16, how will you get the word out about your new program? How will you get the word out in other words, how will you market it? How will you promote it? What will you do? Where will you go? Do you have this vision in your in your mind what needs to be done to reach people that are perfect for your program and actually market it to them? Sometimes we create coaching programs just because we want to create something. And that's great. But if you are building a business, you want to think about these things. How will you get it out there? Question number 17. So this is a very important question because it will help you be a great marketer and, and really get your program out there, not by pushing, not by being salesy, but by telling your story. So what ideas, stories, and teaching points can you share to build up the desire for your coaching program? Because you're going to be writing maybe in a newsletter or speaking from stage or giving a webinar and maybe being interviewed on a podcast. So what ideas, stories, or teaching points can you share to build the desire 
for your program. Okay. Number 18, what is the best format for delivering your program? Is it a live group coaching program? Is it a membership? Is it a course? Is it a VIP day? What is the best format for delivering this program? And of course, the price point will be affected by your answer here. Number 19, where's the content for your program going to come from? And how will it be created? Think about where is the content going to come from? Do you need to create it from scratch? Do you already have some content that you can repurpose so that you don't have to really stare at the blank screen as you're starting out? And the final question is, do you really need to create this coaching program? Or does it make more sense to refresh and relaunch one of your previous successful programs? Sometimes we create things again because we want to without giving any thought to its potential, to its promotion, right? So do you really need to create this program? Creating a new program is, you know, it can be time consuming. So does it make more sense for you to refresh one of your previously created programs that you experienced success with and now can recreate recreate it, refresh it, maybe relaunch it? So these are the 20 questions that you want to ask yourself. And hopefully you found some of these questions very insightful for you to think through your coaching program. And if you're looking for a delivery tool for how to actually deliver your coaching program, go to coachinggenie.com and check it out. It's a very easy to use coaching platform. You can set up your first program in just a few minutes and it will become your go-to platform for delivering your coaching content, your programs, your courses. So if you're ready to start offering coaching programs, and you feel a little overwhelmed or maybe intimidated by the technology out there, you will love Coaching Genie. So go to coachinggenie.com and check out the free demo. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.